Hi Revivers, Dr. Lin here at Rehab and Revive Physical Therapy. We get sent merchandise just to, you know, be sponsors, but uh, this one, uh, we have uh, no financial interest in this uh, as well, so uh, I'm not a stockholder or anything, but I think uh, we were one of the earliest adopters back in 2013-14 to the Upright Pro. Uh, if you're looking for a comparison, I've written a blog. We're gonna post the link below in the comment section uh, or description section. Uh, but we're going to talk today about the Upright Go. The whole goal of biofeedback is it sends a feedback loop. And sometimes it's a stimulation like a zap or a buzz, uh, which is what Upright uses to really kind of correct and keep you informed. Now we're going to show you how to set that up correctly later on this video so you know what the correct posture is. Everyone, is, posture is, is 5,000 different ways to teach it, but I think we teach it better than everybody else. All right, so we pulled this out, the upright go. What does it do? It's this one uh, in particular uh, goes right into the, the top of your, I would say the apex of your curve, or not the apex of your curve, sorry, the end of your curve when you slouch. So technically it would go somewhere right here. And we'll show you that uh, with uh, one of our participants, uh, or Dr. Luo, if I can get him in the room uh, so we can show you. Um, but the upright go, uh, what it does, it, it buzzes you. And uh, in, in basic, uh, it can buzz you in many different ways. So you help learning, could have a short buzz, uh, but it's not quiet. If you work in cubicles uh, next to you, your colleague might hear you. So that's something very important to know. And so I'll see if I can uh, get this thing to buzz a little bit and you can hear what that sounds like, at least from out here. You can do short, medium, long. Um, and that's like the medium setting. So here's a strong one. That's a pretty significant. And then there's a gentle one. But you still can hear it uh, in a quiet room uh, or in a library. So, uh, and then they have like more short. So it's like a little buzz. So if you just need like a little light nudge, but for me to get the point, I need that long one. It's just like, dude, you really messed up. So. There it is. So how else does this work? Uh, like I said, you want to stick this on the end of the curve, but uh, here's a range you set on the app. Uh, and what happens is uh, it buzzes when you fall out of that range. And it, sometimes uh, on this newer app, it's cool. Uh, it sets like a timer, like one or two. Sometimes you get up. What what I didn't like about the old one was it buzzed you immediately, which I think is actually okay. But uh, at least if you're in a two, three second range, like you go pick up your dog or something like that, it's not gonna buzz you and freak you out uh, or anything like that. But um, so when you're out of that range, uh, maybe for like two, three, four seconds, uh, then it buzzes you and you're like, oh yeah. Cause you know, once you start getting in the habit of typing and you're, um, you know, really jamming away and you forget your posture, it's easy to happen because you're focused on the computer screen or, or sitting or standing or talking to your friends, uh, then you want this to buzz you and get you back up. All right, we were able to snag Dr. Liu away from patients for a hot second to, to help us out and demonstrate. Um, I placed the upright go right here. I think uh, on the models, they have it on the base of the curvature or the end of the curvature. The apex doesn't matter. If you put it here, it doesn't move, but you can set the excursion. We'll show that on a screen video uh, of how you can do that, uh, but you can make the range pretty big. So this is actually the lowest range. It's zero second delay and it'll buzz him right away as long as he hits that, that marker, which is generally you could probably see if you're typing all day, you can hit that spot, all right? Try that again, Dr. Luo. Good. Good. All right. So, um, how do you set the right posture now? Um, so we can set that right now. So let's do this. He's doing the hang tan. That's our, our MO here at Rehab and Revive. We're connecting four dots. We're the base of your throat, your sternum, your belly button, and your pubic bone. You can see, and we'll draw that line, one line, and he's putting his weight over his, his pubic bone, which is then slightly diagonal, it's about 15 degrees forward. Um, and this is the right place. So we're gonna set that right now as I drop the phone. Um, so that's the good, that's the starting place. But now, okay, so his posture is set, and we've set the range. Um, and I'll show you how, how, yep, and then exactly the shoulder setting. But go ahead and slouch again. And you can see, we could fall 
prey to this real easily if we're engaged in our uh, intense computer work. Okay, try that again. Right about there, good. And so this is cool because you'll have this in front of you, the app, um, but we're gonna switch to the furthest range on this. Um, so I'm gonna switch that right now. So we're gonna set the tone here and I'm gonna put this at the max range. You'll see how, I, I don't know, like this is, this is pretty large range. If you got this bad posture, you, you need a, a lot of physical therapy. That's, that's my guess, right? Like now he hits it. Like this is really bad. Like if you are in this posture, boy, you, you have probably other problems than your posture. Well, what do you think? I'm like, yeah, I, don't, I, I think posture is your lowest this. concern at this moment. It might be your back, your neck, yeah. your shoulder. Oh, yeah. I don't know, whatever. <laughs> that's the max range. That's at uh, level six. But uh, let's go back. I Like I said, I think if you're in that zero one, that's the best place to set it, which is cool. There's variable variability with the upright. But the one like critique I have uh, to, to my friends at Upright uh, is that uh, when you go, you can overcompensate. There's a lot of people that will overcompensate and you can see this, and Dr. Lou's got a great spine. Um, he can show you that that's a lot of pain there, but a lot of people do this. Um, and then they overcorrect. They throw their shoulders back, squeeze it, and they do that. And you know, on my tracker, it doesn't have the reverse place to buzz me. So we need to find that little like pendulum, that middle of the pendulum. And he can keep going, keep going, hop back, 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 right? And that's the thing. All right, so is it worth, if you have an old one, trying to get a new one? Uh, I think it's, it's worth it uh, to kind of revamp it. If you haven't used your 2014 upright in forever, uh, I think it's worth the, the 99 bucks, 100 bucks uh, to spend on it. Uh, I think, uh, you know, um, I, I think it's always good to just keep working on our posture. I believe that's 90% of people's chronic pain, posture, bad habits. So if you can make that change now, you don't have to come pay the big bucks to see us at Rehab and Revive. So I think it's worth the investment uh, to make that change uh, over. Um, I think uh, it's light, uh, it's, it's easy to plug in and, and all that fun stuff. Uh, and we'll talk about that more in my, my written review. Uh, but I, I do like this. Uh, I think there's more changes coming ahead as these guys uh, improve the company. I think there's a quicker, efficient ways to put this thing on. It's hard for me to do it myself. Um, I know they got the necklace uh, that's out there, kind of just sets it up. Up, but I think I think there's something there's something better out there uh, but no one has invented anything better just yet so this is the best that there is right now uh, super excited to be doing this for the next three weeks so I'm dr. Lin remember we heal smarter not harder <laughs>